can't study for natural science anymore. I need my study group. Let me call my friend Jenna. At the surface, all the water molecules are oh, attached hold to on, the... Hold on, hold on. Okay. Hi, Steph. Oh, yeah, we'll come study with you. Okay, we have guacamole. We'll bring it. Okay, see you soon. You're finally here. Look, Steph, we brought the avocado. Ew, why is it so brown? We, we don't know. We made it just an hour ago. I know. Faith and I, the science girl, is that really you? It is. I hear you guys have an avocado dilemma. I can fix that in a jiff. This is why it turns brown. Avocados are found to have catechol oxidase, and in the presence of oxygen, the enzyme alters, now becoming benzoquinone, which is a brown product. If you would have left the avocado in the skin, not as much of it would have been exposed to oxygen, so it would have been less brown. In order to preserve the freshness of the avocado, a good trick is to squirt some lemon juice on the avocado. This process will denature the enzyme. Inside the protein found in the avocado, there is a secondary structure with amino acids all over it. The amino acids are lined up and are connected by hydrogen bonds. When an acid like lemon juice is added to the avocado, it breaks down the hydrogen bonds between the amino acids. Once the hydrogen bonds are broken, the enzyme is denatured. Because of all this denaturization, the active site found on the enzyme is not able to perform its specific function. Girls, so next time you want to make guacamole, squeeze a little lemon juice on it so it looks like this and not like that. <laughs>